everybody. We are out here at the soccer field. I got my son with me, top high school prospect. We need to work on his game, but we needed some competition. So what did we do? We brought on the Brazilians. Brazil! They don't want it with us! They don't want it with us! All right, y'all ready? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, boy. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. He's second place. Hey, hey. Cross it! <laughs> Goal! Our ball. <laughs> Yellow card. <laughs> <laughs> Boom, one on one. You're obviously like, you have the, a, a gentleman's personality. So do you prefer to be a gentleman towards your opponents or would you rather have a little, a little beef, a little hostility going into the fight? I like a little hostility, not much. With Woodley, it was a little like that, not much, but it was a little bit. And I'll never forget this, and I think I brought it up to you before, is like in between the second and the third round, like he just gets up and he just stares at me the whole way back to his corner. And I'm sitting there like, oh my God. I remember that moment clear. That was yeah. the fourth round. It was the fourth round? Woodley kind of turns to the other side and then look at D. D is looking at me, and Jenna just kept looking at him for like one minute, like. And the guys go to your corner, and then I go to my corner like, sturdy. I was like, <laughs> and, then, and then he came in, and what did I do to you? I, I said, like, no, no. I was like, I ain't got nothing to do with this. Yes, y'all. I'm just here, I'm just here giving them water. This ain't my beef. <laughs> so let's play. We back in the game. They're more like this guy. They're more like that guy. <laughs> Two one. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, two, two. <laughs> One thing I noticed about both of you guys, like, so, like, you guys are very athletic. What other sports have you played? Just soccer growing up and then just switched right over to jiu-jitsu? We saw with karate when, when, I think, when he was four and I was six, we started karate. And how about you, like? How was your trend? Did you do a lot of competition for jiu-jitsu? Yeah, I won the World Cup in Ogi. And then when I moved to Asia, there was a lot of Muay Thai there. So I started training Muay Thai. How's it been for you, that experience getting to the UFC? The Contender Series, it was the fight I felt most pressure in my whole life, to say the truth, because I knew of my potential. I knew I did fought in big tournaments before, but you never need to win. The win is not enough. You need to go there and, and put on a show. Burns in the blue trunks, Minner in the gray. They get right after it. Oh, he stunned him. Burns is in it. He's looking for that guillotine now himself. So I felt if he, I didn't finish on the first, maybe I wasn't going to get the contract. And I made it happen on the first. I finished the Derek Minner, another triangle choke. That is tight. Wow. Caps out right away. You called it, Dom. First round finished, and then I got the contract, and then, then it was the like, final relief. Yeah, you were like, ah. <laughs> And then I, I was like, whew, finally, made it. Now we go on the penalty. Penalty kick? Yeah. All right, let's go penalty kicks. I'm going to be the goalie for penalty kicks. Hey, pick one side. I got this. Oh, my. <laughs> got hurt. You good? You good? I'm good. That was a lucky now shot. Now you go. Now you go. You tell me when you're ready. I'm always ready, born ready. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like hard, like trying to get to where you are now. How did you battle those, those failures? The thing you need to have in your mind is your purpose. Have the purpose clear. Like in life, there's a lot of things that will stop you from doing what you're supposed to do, right? I call that resistance. But if you need to study, if you need to do anything to improve your life, anything that adds value to your life, it'll be hard. You gotta believe in yourself. It doesn't matter what you're gonna do. You gotta believe that you can do it, you know? Otherwise, you're gonna train hard, you're gonna commit, you're gonna sacrifice, but at the end of the day, you don't believe. Another thing that you're gonna make a lot of mistakes. My last fight fighting for the championship, I thought I was ready, I thought everything was perfect. Went there, a lot of emotional makeup mistakes. It was my fault, it wasn't my dad's fault, it wasn't my brother's fault, it wasn't my coach's fault. 
It wasn't no one's fault, it was my fault. So you'd say that like accountability was the number one thing you learned from your fight with Usman? To be honest, uh, in the first time that I'm saying that, I got caught up with the fame a little bit. Everywhere people want to be friends with the champion. Hey, what's up, champ? When you fighting for the title, you gonna win that title? Come, I'm gonna. Everywhere I was going was that type of thing. But at what point in that fight did you go, oh shit? Like there had to be a moment where you were like, okay, this is not what I expected. But I think technically, oh! when it hurt him, right? I just want to finish. And then he took me down, and I think it took so much time to go back up on my feet while he was hurt. I knew I kind of messed up a little bit. Because on the break, instead of listening to my coach, put my heart rate down, or got back to the second round, and I'm like, oh, shit, I didn't put my heart rate down. I didn't rest. That was when I realized, oh, shit. To become a champion, to be on a different level, you gotta make the right decision at the right time. I think that was exactly what happened. People don't realize how difficult that is. Like, you've got to experience that firsthand of, like, getting there and then, like, it slips away because it's like a game of inches. And that is a hard thing to do. Fellas, you know, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all to death, and I appreciate y'all coming out, playing soccer with us. My pleasure. Yeah, man. Let's eat right now. Yeah, let's go get some, let's go get some picanha and some chicken hearts. Say hi to Dean. Hi. What's up, man? Yo, give a backflip for it then. Let's go. Come in. Whoa! Can you teach me how to do that? I look at Pedro. That's the big one. Say hi to Dean. Hi. Oh. Go. Hey, hey. <laughs> Joshy. <laughs> Joshy. <laughs> Vem cá agora. Sai. Pass. Obrigado. Até o seu tênis. Did the big one just like chill out so that he, you know, to let the little one get off on him? Yeah, but he's a little bully too. You yeah. Know? And they like it. They like it? They like to fight a lot. And they already got the octagon set up right here. <laughs> Yeah, right. You know what I never I never asked you? Uh, Dorino. Yeah. What is that? Your nickname? That's for my older brother. His nickname was Todo Duro, like very tough, very hard. A little tough one. You should gift that to your son, Josh. <laughs> jo yeah, yeah. Josh you right there. Yeah. You know, it's the true chicken, chicken heart. heart. Get, get, get a little one. Get a little, get a little one. one. Let's see, let's get a little one. If you don't like it, spit it out. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah, the way he's chewing, look, look at his face. Look this is good. It's good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very well cook it. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's good. Beautiful. See? That's good. See? That's good. You didn't have to do this, man. We're going to eat now. I Come hear on. that, but Jesus. Let's dig in. Let's go. Bon appetit. Come on, Dean. You're not on the diet, Dean. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is so good. Okay, we'll stop brigando with your mom. So it seems like you have a very strong family dynamic here. Like, how important is that for you in terms of your entire fight career? Very important because they got full support. They they know who I'm fighting. They they know all the fighters. I have a good a good support. You know, she helped me a lot when I'm in camp. You know, she does all the food, all the a lot of things, help out with the kids. So. I have a great support, you know, like, hey, that cake right there, the cake? Yeah, that cake is good. It's a Brazilian carrot cake. You like chocolate? Yeah, of course. Ooh, he's so he's going to like it, huh? Thank you very much. So you made it from scratch, huh? Yes. Go, 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 go. <laughs> like he ain't ever eat before. <laughs> Listen, Durino, man, you got a beautiful family. I appreciate all this. It was a pleasure to spend the day with you. Yeah. You kicked our butt in soccer. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. And uh, I appreciate you, man. 
Who you got, Wonder Boy now with the ring? No, no, I've got you now. Okay. But don't tell Wonder Boy I said that. Okay. But I, yeah. We brothers for life now. We family now. We family now. Keep your dog away from me, but we family now. <laughs> hey.